Hello friends, Tiger Coward here. Muzzy Spike and I are on another epic adventure for three weeks that we are calling the Tale of the Dragon Tour. This adventure took us along the Skyline Drive and down the Blue Ridge Parkway where we saw snow on the craggy knob. We rode the Tale of the Dragon, the Cherahala Skyway, the Rattler, and the Back of the Dragon. Our travels took us through New York, Pennsylvania, Virginia, West Virginia, North Carolina, Tennessee, and Kentucky, and finally back home to Ontario, or in Spike's case, back to Quebec. Please join us, smash that like button, and subscribe so that you don't miss any of this adventure. Welcome to day one of our Tale of the Dragon Tour. Today, Muzzy met me at my place around 8.30 and we headed out in bright sunshine and a balmy 8 degrees. As usual, there was no sunshine by the time we reached the black hole of Dundalk and we didn't see any sunshine for the rest of the day. We took a meandering route that took us through Damascus on our way to Guelph and then the GPS dazzled us with a ride that delivered us to Ancaster via rural roads that were vacant of traffic. In Ancaster, we stopped for brunch at the Egg and I restaurant. Our meal was fantastic. Muzzy had the French toast and it was huge. He said it was good too. After filling our cold bellies, we headed to Niagara Falls to cross into the USA. Unfortunately, we followed the signs of the Rainbow Bridge, but we kept ending up in a casino parking lot. Was this a coincidence or a conspiracy to keep people spending their money in Ontario? Anyhow, after traveling along the falsely named Bridge Road, and then an impromptu visit to Clifton Hill, we finally found our way onto the Rainbow Bridge and crossed into New York State with no fuss at all. By then it had warmed up to about 17 degrees, but there was still no sun and the radar was still threatening rain. By the time we reached Batavia, it was looking more like springtime. There were leaves on the trees and the crab apples were in full bloom. Further south near Dansville, two things happened. It started raining and everything became absolutely beautiful. The landscapes from Dansville to Corning were beautiful and the riding was great despite the rain and the plunging temperatures. We stopped in Penyan, that's fun to say, and called Spike. He had already reached Watkins Glen from Montreal and he told us that there was no improvement in the weather conditions ahead of us. So we decided against our plan to camp and booked a room in the Corning Quality Inn. This hotel is moto friendly and allowed us to park the bikes under the covered entrance of the hotel. This kept them a little drier, away from nasty cars, and within eyesight of the front desk. We took the staff's recommendation and had a nice meal at Carrie's Brew House. I had the house Friday night special, wait for it, fish and mac and cheese. You know the saying, when in Rome, eh? Our walk back to the hotel was cold and miserable, but we had a warm and dry hotel room to watch the Bruins do their impression of the Leafs. Ha ha, die Boston. 
Good night from the Finger Lakes. I love you all. Except you, Boston Bruins. I'll never love you. Go forth with an open mind, and most importantly, an open heart. And remember, self-care is not selfish. Take what's left to the grave